Hey guys, going to do a quick uh, quick guide on the different types of fighter jets that appear in Planetside 2 and what I've learned from them so far, which isn't much, but there you go. Uh, and also some info that I've plucked from the from the net to assist me a little bit on it. Right, first up is the Revo, which is the main fighter jet for the new conglomerate faction. Uh, no flying in uh, in the world of Planet Side 2 isn't like anything I've flown in before. There's nothing like chopper flying in, in Battlefield 3. Uh, it took me a good while to get used to how uh, the ships handle. Uh, the controls are the same. Uh, there is a difference in each class, uh, in each aircraft class, uh, but the controls are the same on each one. Uh, that includes the bombers and the, the galaxy and things like that. Once you get your head round uh, what uh, what keys do what and uh, and set them to your own preferences, you'll pick it up pretty damn quick. And here's a plus point actually for all you guys out there who uh, who commented on my um, BF3 chopper videos that they they, fi they found it extremely hard to fly choppers in it. Well, the learning curve in Planet Side Two uh, flying class. Uh, it's relatively easy, I'd say, and no Mac is proof of this. Uh, you picked it up pretty damn quick, didn't you, bud? Um, right, now down to the controls. Uh, I used in, uh, in Battlefield 3 um, the chop controls. I normally use um, my arrow keys up, down, left, right, blah, blah, blah. But you probably use your, your W, S, and A, and D keys. Um, on Battlefield 3, I would have the up and down arrows to ascend and descend. Uh, ascend and descend. And use my mouse to move forward and slow up the chopper as well. Now on planet side 2, um, up is now accelerate and down arrow to me. What I use is to slow the aircraft down. I've got a razor death adder uh, which has two thumb buttons on it. And the top button is now my ascent and the lower button is now my descent uh, which took me a little bit of time to get used to but I've managed it ok back to the reaver uh, it's pretty much a jack of all trades this one uh, master and none what I've read I've obviously not opened any of the weapon upgrades yet so can't really comment on uh, on that but I have used the M20 Mustang which is a standard issue cannon for the Reaver and uh, can give you some info on that not much but it's just what I picked up off the net it's a pretty high rate of fire uh, gun, very accurate and it reloads quite quick that is the most powerful of the standard weapons of the three fighters but it uh, does its job, it gets the job done. It deals damage at long range as well, which is good. Uh, it's fully automatic and it's got a 50 bullet mag. Right, so that's a reaver. I'll let you watch uh, the rest of this and then we'll move on to the, uh, the mosquito. Cheers. Okay guys, this is the uh, the Mosquito. I uh, didn't like this aircraft at first, uh, but I love it now. I think it's uh, it really looks the part. It looks, um, looks really good. I'll just take you out of the cockpit actually, just to have a look at it. Uh, as to how well the uh, the guys at Planet Side 2 have, have done with the graphics. Now this is set to low um, on my PC. Obviously with my frames per second being a crap PC and all. I have to keep it at low, but it still <laughs> looks really good. Uh, right back to the aircraft. Um, it's the fighter of the uh, the Terran Republic. It's fast. It's a nimble little fucker. Uh, this is, um, but it's, it's surprisingly easy to control. As you've probably gathered, uh, all these crafts, these aircrafts are all VT or L crafts. Uh, but I think this one really loots the part. You know, with the big engines on the side, uh, which rotate. It looks bloody good. Uh, I couldn't find much on the net about the standard weapon of the Mosquito, apart from that it's called the M12-M 14mm cannon. Uh, couldn't find much else on, on wiki other than that. Maybe somebody uh, can point me in the right direction to get some further info on uh, on the weapons, weapon classes and things like that on the uh, the aircraft. That would be much appreciated. So I'll leave you with this footage and then we'll, uh, we'll cut to... Uh, the scare next. Cheers.
Okay, now on to the uh, the scaf. This is the Vanu Vanu Sovereignty uh, vehicle that counters the Tehran Republic's Mosquito and the Newfoundland's Reva. It can be configured to air to air, air to ground, or a combination of both. Uh, compared to other Empire Air vehicles, the Scaith has a much faster lateral movement speed and is able to change altitude faster than other vehicles. What do you think of that? You think I sounded professional there? Uh, first time in my YouTube career I've sounded professional there. Uh. No, I've, uh, I actually cheated and I've read it off the, uh, the Planet Side uh, Universe wiki page. But there you go. Uh, right, going back onto uh, to the standard weapons limited info on this one as well uh, but what I've got is uh, the name of it which if you're ready for this this one's called the VSWL dash S gen 4 light rail beam weapon what about that sounds a bit of a mouthful that don't it right so that's pretty much it guys I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, you've learnt a little bit about the, the three fighter classes. I'll leave you now with um, with some footage after this um, this scathe of the the Liberator which is a three crew bomber craft actually. It's a good good bomber craft. It's slow but it's uh, it's pretty tough. Uh, a lot more footage of this craft and also the Galaxy soon. And uh, thanks a lot for watching and as always if you could please comment, rate and subscribe if you will. Ta. See you in a bit. Bye. area immediately. Clear out of that area.
Leave the restricted area immediately.